And his opponent, official weight, 134.9 pounds. Fighting out of the MMA lab, Phoenix, Arizona. Welcome, Marcus, the maniac, McGee. Marcus, the maniac, McGee. I, what can I say about this guy? I, I don't know if I could think of another fighter that has made more of an impression in a shorter period of time. In just two, he's had two fights in one year and already has captured the attention of the Arizona MMA scene with, with, the, with the, just the energy, the excitement, the technicality uh, that, that he brings when he fights. He's already become a fan favorite and uh, you could tell by the reception that he's gotten already. Everybody loves this guy, and nobody has been able to say a bad word about him. Everybody loves him. He is just, he is just exudes just positive energy. He is so, he is, he's the nicest guy. He's so good to be around. His energy and enthusiasm infects everybody around him, and he's the type of guy who you want to be around. He exudes that positive energy, and I always love watching. Look how, look how, look how much fun he's having right now. And I, I said, "What have you done since your last fight?" And he's like, "Dude, I get better every day. I'm better than I was the day before. I'm better than I was yesterday." He wants to have a busy schedule. He wants to fight as much as possible. He wants to fight at least two more times this year. He From wants to fight MMA at least two more times Phoenix, this year. Arizona. Marcus, the maniac, McGee. This fight is brought to you by Better Than Granite. Go to betterthangranite.com. Referee for the fight, Ryan Rugeman. All right, fighters, moving over your instructions in the back. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves now if you wish. Come out swinging. All right, here we go. Wow. I can't believe I'm gonna watch this fight. I can't believe I'm getting ready to watch this fight. Rafael Montini and Marcus the Maniac McGee. The Rebel versus they the are Maniac. Ready. They both touch gloves. Now both these guys, this is two best gyms in, in Arizona, I mean the world. These but. are two of the best gyms in the world. You got Fight Ready MMA and the MMA Lab putting their two top Bantamweight products out against each other right now. Oh, he caught him, he touched him. Rafael Montini with a good two-piece kind of leg kick that and see, Marcus is backing straight up. Against a seasoned veteran like Montini, that's something you don't want to do is back straight up. Well, this is going to be, I think, the first big test of Marcus McGee. It, it, this is easily the most experienced guy that he's fought so far in his Absolutely. pro career. And a nice counter punch by Montini. What? Both guys looking for the calf kick. One thing that Marcus possesses that Montini does not is that one punch knockout power. The Maniac has some serious, serious, I mean, concussion givers uh, in both of his hands. I'm pretty sure you can hear the crowd behind me. And Rafael Montini, the rebel, coming in happy. When you come into a fight happy, that's dangerous. Oh! I think that was a combination of a, a little trip and a kick. Montini did catch him, but I think it was a little bit of a, of a, of a, a, little bit of a trip on McGee's part, too. Oh, Marcus touches him.
Mulcini's doing a good job fainting, keeping him honest. Ooh, ooh, good feints from both fighters. Both guys are very, very respectful of each other right now. Both guys know that 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 that, that one mistake, nice that one mistake could end this fight for either guy. Nice punch by Rafael wow. Montini. Rafael Montini tries to counter with a front kick, but Marcus McGee was just nowhere to be found on the end of that front kick. Again, he's backing straight up. He needs to use that. There you go, circle out, don't back straight up. Muay Thai clinch nice for Marcus knee. McGee. That's usually Rafael Montini's game. Marcus is really starting to put on the pressure. Body head for Marcus McGee. Good leg kick by Marcus McGee. Oh, nice Good jab job. there by Montini. Both these guys showing that they're relatively even on the feet. Marcus just not willing to go backwards. Rafael Montini coming forward with some good punches right here. Nice kick. Reverse side kick by Marcus McGee. Nice flashy stuff. Ooh. That leg kick was nasty. Another reverse side kick by Marcus McGee. Marcus McGee has been playing some fighting games. <laughs> I think he's been playing Marvel vs. Capcom 3. <laughs> oh! oh! Wow! That level change was nasty. That was the most perfectly timed level change that, that could have happened. Wow. Wow. Marcus trying to create some space with his elbow. This is very smart here by Montini, working the, working these legs. Try he, he earlier he need him in the tailbone it looked like, but but you know you have this position, and I mean this is a really good place to score some long lasting damage. Oh Montini takes the back of Marcus McGee. He needs to get his left hook in, and Mark. Marcus McGee just shrugs him off. What a first round. Again, this fight is brought to you by Better Than Granite, epoxy countertops. Better if Than you're Granite. In the market, Thank you, Better Than Granite. We love this fight. <laughs> Thank you, Better Than Granite. This fight is awesome. Now check this out. I've seen this guy in action, this uh, Better Than Granite epoxy countertops. Man. Nice kick to the body by Marcus McGee. Oh, Rafael Montini answers with a little hook over the top. Oh! Nice level oh change. My. Unbelievable. Rafael Montini with these level changes. Looking like a wrestler. Working with Henry Cejudo, Frankie Signs, and he is putting together some nice wrestling here. McGee's back to his feet. Listen to this place. Oh, touched him again. We know what happens when Marcus starts going to the body. When Marcus starts going to the body, you know what's coming next. Touched him again. Nice Montini straight left by Marcus chin. McGee. Nice straight left by... But Montini's answering. Every time, Montini's able to answer back with something. He's showing much improved striking than what we've seen out of him before. Both fighters exchange knees in the clinch. Ooh. Nice body shot. A slip. Oh, Rafael Montini with a nice left hook. Oh! And these two are oh! going. Oh! 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 These guys are trading. Marcus McGee coming on strong. 
He's a loading. Marcus McGee coming on strong. Oh, body, body, body head. head. Oh Rafael my Montini God. covering up. Get him out of there. Rafael Montini, Get him out of that there. is over. Wow! Wow, what a fight! That was nasty. Now look, the ref gave Montini every chance he could. Every chance that he could to get back in this fight. I don't even think it matters what we say right now. Because you can't hear us. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ryan Rugerman stops the fight at 157 of round number two, declaring your winner by TKO by way of strikes, Marcus the Maniac. Move!